Right guys, how's it? It's Richard here from Newprint. Okay, a lot of guys have asked me to make up a video of basically how ProPrint works, uh, how you bring graphics into ProPrint, uh, and a couple of little tricks here and there on how to handle JPEGs, especially with backgrounds that they don't want. So basically, I brought in this logo. Okay, what you're going to do is we're going to size it for basically doing, um, let's say, a mug. Okay, which is then if you can look at that's 88 by 29 it's a typical size on just doing something across the top of a mug right now what you do is you just push plus you hold control you drag it across you notice that it keeps it in line you let go your key on your mouse okay if you wanted to carry on going across all you do is say cross control D and it would just duplicate it for you um, what you can do, we only need two for now, so what I'll do is I'll select that, I'll say plus, I'll drag it down, holding control, you'll notice if I don't hold control, it's loose, if I hold control, this is for guys who don't know Coral, you just hold control, when it's in position, you want space between it so that you can operate, you let go, and then it's control D until you've got the right amount, that will be just off the graphic, you can then drag your the whole lot and group it and then push P and that'll center your page now you want to kind of do that all the time so that it, you're working with a neat page now you can invert this you can mirror this uh, here by simply doing that or you can do it in the software in ProPrint for the case for this case we're going to actually do the mirroring in ProPrint now what we've done is we've got what we want so we kind of finished with uh, Coral now what we're going to do is say file export you're going to go and export we'll export this to the desktop just for this 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 sample I'm going to call this um, test and let's call it 23 and you're going to do it as uncompressed export you're going to be don't go lower than 300 dpi always export in RGB color 24 bit. All right. Transparent background essential, anti analyzing essential. Okay. You now export that. You can now minimize that. You can open up your pro print. You can go file, open. You can go to your desktop and type in test. 23 PSD and open. I'd like you to notice how quick that actually opens. Once you're in ProPrint, the benefits of this whole thing now is it'll print through to your printer substantially quicker than it would through Coral. <clears throat> Not only that, it, because it's uPrint and you don't have the fuser unit, it doesn't need to wait for the fuser unit to heat up. So it'll print almost immediately. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to just center that in our page. So that you can actually enlarge that you can actually zoom in to almost out of the so if you wanted to go in and see detail in one particular loader you can simply zoom in if you if you'd like now in this case <coughs> excuse me the the logo has a white background and we're going to want to drop that background out okay so what we're going to do is going to go file we're going to go image Sorry, I'm going to go file, I'm going to go image. I'm going to go to transparent channel at the bottom here. Okay, so I'm going to do that one more time for you. Image, transparent channel. It defaults white automatically, appropriate. So if you wanted another color, you could click, the, untick that box and the white would come back. And you could select, let's say you wanted the red out. You would click on the red, hold control down. Click on the red, sorry. So it's hold control down, click on the red, drag it in, you'll notice that the box comes plus, let it go, and you would say okay. It would then drop the red out. Okay, so now I'm just going to control Z that and bring that back. Because in this case, we want to drop out the white. So I'm going to go back to image, add a transparent channel. And I'm going to just click that box because white is a default and so okay. All right, now you notice that the white is gone and properly gone. 
All right, so it's a great benefit to, to the Pro Print. You can drop out as many backgrounds as you want. Um, if you've got a JPEG where you've got a scenery and you want to kind of play around with it and drop out backgrounds and drop out colors, you can drop out as many as you want using that facility. All right. Now, we're going to print on a, a ceramic mug. Let's say we're going to be doing on white. So we do not need white. First thing we always do is make sure that we are on our, on our color media paper, which is over here, color media. Okay. Because we are using the CMY white system. So you use that environment and never any other environment. Do not use the white media environment. Use color media environment. Okay. You're going to go to the, there's various things across the top here. You've got your, your choke which basically is the, the white underbase. If you want it not, if it's showing a little bit of white when you print it, you can actually choke it back. I always leave that on 100%. Um, the underbase itself, when you do not want white underneath, in other words, you're printing on a white mug, you will just simply take that and zero that. You will leave your highlight generator on 100%, and you will, when you're printing with no white, leave this on none. That is your highlight generator. Fuzziness comes in, guys, when you are printing half tones. Things that vignette from light to dark, colors that um, go from pink to green, and there's that fuzziness in between. That's what it's basically called. It's simply what it is, fuzziness. If you've got half toning in a, in a graphic, which we don't in this particular one, you will add a percentage in there. I usually put around about 30%. You'll notice that that'll only come into action if you've got that on the fly which means that it's looking for white. On the fly means it's looking for white in the graphic and if it does find white, it'll lay the white in there 100%. Okay, so we're gonna now just put that on none for this particular exercise. All right, color boosting, you can also do a little bit of color boosting if you're finding that your color's a little bit flat, if your JPEG came in with flat colors. But in this case, everything looks, looks fine. All right, so now you're basically ready to go. So the first thing we always do is once you you think you're right over there, and before you print, you go file, print preview. And that is not if and when, that is always. You will always preview the print that you're gonna do before you print. Because what you see on this screen is actually what you're gonna be printing. So now, a nice feature to ProPrint is if you're printing on white, as we said, you put white, so now you can see that there's no problem on white, that is what I'm going to see. I now know that that is printing the wrong way because we've got to print in reverse. We will then select the print options. We center it. We're going to, sorry, just lost my chain of thought there. We're going to now mirror. So you select the mirror, mirror image over there and you say OK. You'll notice now in the print preview, it is now mirrored, ready to print onto white. If you were going to print onto some other color like yellow, that's how it would look. If it was going to be onto black, that's how it would look. You can see some glimmers of white there. The black, it would look absolutely terrible. So you know this logo would not look nice on anything darker than yellow for that matter. So you would have to do something else to, let's go back to white. All right, so now we can go back through the door here. That's how you get back out of print preview so that you don't change any of it. Else. You'll notice that it's not in reverse in the screen, not to worry, because you know in print pre preview it is right. All right, so now what we're going to do now is we're going to print it out. You create print. You make sure that you print into the right machine. For those guys who got my CMYK and CMY white, um, if you're printing on a network, it'll have a network number here where impression technologies is you'll have a, a, a network um, there and not impression technologies. All right, but for this case, we say, okay, we only print in one page. It'll come through to your print queue. Now, you can see there it's already, it's already at the printer. You can see there, it's already done. All right, so basically you got your name. You'll notice as I touch that, it brings down the, the graphics. So if you've got four or five graphics waiting in line here, You've got four different jobs on the go. You all have to do is you don't have to worry about these settings on top anymore because once it's printed through to here, it'll keep those settings. All you've got to do is right click that 
and print it. As again, sorry, so it's right click and print. Okay, it's actually waiting for the spooling to be done now. All right, so we're going to quickly go and print that. I'm going to 